problems with the community and the bog and the brand of us. Like too many people are like hijacking cars and scaring the elderly and young men and it's not safe for them to be out when that's happening. Our second thing would be drugs because it's seen as a casual thing and too many people are taking them. Even if it's just prescriptive drugs like par paracetamol or cocodamol and stuff like that and young people selling them, the numbers have went up so much. Young people need to know the dangers of buying cheap cigarettes and not to make them easy to buy. We need to promote the dangers and the increase of prescription drugs. There's too many people like taking drugs. Winners, Sonics. And it's scaring local people that are living there. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, how would young people rate the PSNI in your area? Well, one person from the group rated the PSNI as a 3 because they always see the negative side of them and 10 people rated them as a 5 because they do do stuff that we don't see as young people and the police can act differently to people in my area compared to people in higher up areas. Holly, uh, in the young people's opinion, what would make the PSNI more accessible and acceptable within well, the PSNI would need to treat everybody the same. They would need to be accountable for things. If the young people were in charge of the PSNI, what would be their top three priorities um, that they would like to challenge or like to deal with? Well, number one would have to be the suicide rate because it has a really big issue in the city, especially over the past couple of months. 4,800 people have died since the Friday Agreement, in contrast to 3,600 people during the Troubles. Factors affecting young people through education would be things such as dealing with stress during exams because they're not taught how to deal with them properly. They can go off the rails and then they can have mental breakdowns or anxiety or panic attacks and stuff. And when teachers don't listen, it adds on to the stress. Schools can also be too strict in the fact that they give too many homeworks and whenever the like teenagers don't have enough control over their skill life, then they can go off the rails as well. Also, teenagers can have barriers to learning, so things like poverty, abuse or neglect and the household can affect their learning, which means that they'll have low aspirations and they'll be affecting their qualifications to get in jobs. Do you like school to start off with? No. Why do you not like school? The teachers are too strict. You can't do anything without getting told off. You can't talk. And if you do talk or do carry on, they didn't help you. They just throw you out and leave it at that. We don't feel safe in our community and we just need to feel protected.